Okay, so today we're looking at DNA replication. We're starting out with our model of DNA. We're starting with this model because we can't show how DNA unwinds with our paper models. So the first step of DNA replication is that the DNA molecule actually unwinds so that it forms into the ladder form, a form of a ladder. So that's the first step. DNA unwinds. And now we'll continue with our paper models of DNA, or our paper model. This is a DNA molecule. The code is CTGAGC on the left. So after the DNA unwinds, the next step, second step, is to unzip the molecule. And um, to do that, we need some enzymes to break the bonds between the nitrogen bases. So those hydrogen bonds are broken, and the molecule unzips. And so now we have a left half right here and a right half. So that's how you unzip your DNA molecule. The third step would be that from the cytoplasm, or within the nucleus, many new nitrogen bases will come in and start to bond wherever we find a match. So enzymes will do the work of this, and I'm just kind of putting them in one after another. So you can see what's happening is that I've just created a new DNA molecule and the same thing is going to happen on the other side. So we bring all of our nucleotide pieces in and we end up getting two identical DNA molecules. So from top to bottom, both of the molecules are identical. We've got CG here, we've got CG there. So it's all the way down C, T, G, A, G, C. And then we've got the complementary side um, next to it. Now, if we were talking about this in terms of chromosomes, the first ladder that we started with, you could think of as um, perhaps a chromosome, a single strand of a chromosome. And now that we have replicated the DNA, we can now consider this to be a double-stranded chromosome. And um, if we were really looking at a double-stranded chromosome, it would be held together by um, a centromere. So the centromere is, um, I like to use the, the idea that it's kind of like a snap that can that can snap apart but um, I'll use this to represent a centromere holding the two identical strands together so we might call this a uh, these things sister chromatids now and that's the idea we started with one DNA molecule we end up with two identical DNA molecules. They're identical to each other and they're identical to the original.